Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ola, if you're new here. And if you're back and wondering, um, yes, I have not been posting in a very long time, but I'm back into it and my goal is just to start posting again. The reason why I want to vlog today, today's a Sunday, but it's special because I'm going to an adult ballet class. I'm going with a couple of friends and I'm just super excited because I grew up doing ballet from ages 3 to 18 and it was just such a big part of my life and when I went to college I stopped doing ballet I was in a dance team but there was no ballet in it it was mostly hip-hop some like lyrical type of dance but yeah and now that I find myself in my 20s living in, in the city in Boston I've been trying to find more hobbies and just try new things and this is something that I just want to continue doing. I just love ballet. I love the way it makes me feel. Um, it's a good workout and then you just feel like a princess when you do it. So it just brings me back to my childhood. I can't believe I did my bun, but I somehow did. Um, I used to do my buns like this, like cinnamon rolls. And there's probably like 20 to 30 bobby pins in there. And then I also parted my hair and like did hairspray, did gel, did the whole thing. So yeah, it's so weird because when I spray the hairspray, it reminds me of like, it brings me back to a sh before a show or before an audition. So it's just crazy. But yeah, and then I'm also wearing these dangly earrings and I did my makeup and I'm wearing an old leotard. This is like a, it's called a Yumiko and I used to wear these. I don't know what dancers wear now, but this is, this is what we're going with and I'm wearing trash bag pants and black tights i feel ready <laughs> and then i have my water bottle with me so yeah it's gonna be hard because i've only done so s since leaving since graduating my ballet school i've probably done like six classes total so i have popped in here and there but nothing like continuous so every time i go back it's just it's super difficult, um, but yeah, I'm really excited. And so yesterday I actually did an intermediate class in Boston, which it felt really good. Um, but today I'm going to Newton and we're going to a beginner class since some of my friends, friends that I will meet, they haven't done ballet. So this will be like a first class for them ever. So it's gonna be like very like beginner level. I don't know, I just, you know, trying new things, like it honestly brings you so much happiness, so. If there's something that you want to try, you should definitely try it um, because nothing is holding you back except yourself. So yeah, and it's also a beautiful day. So I think that after after class, we're probably going to go get like breakfast or coffee. So I'll vlog that too. So this is my fit check. I'm wearing this black shirt over the leotard and then tights, trash bag pants, my puffer bag from Pretty Little Thing and then this aloe white jacket. So we're about to enter the class. We're so excited. <laughs> we're healing we're our inner child. Our inner child. <laughs> We just finished Classic. class. That was great. Wait, so How you guys that. like it? It was, it was so amazing. Good. Tia is number one, actually. <laughs> number one. Tia, the best one in the class. <laughs> What's up you guys? I'm back in the apartment and on the way back I got a coffee because it's much needed because it's daylight savings. So I got a red eye which is a cold brew with one shot of espresso. Yeah now I basically have the rest of the day to clean and just like reset for the week since it's Sunday. But yeah that class was amazing. Um, I would highly recommend taking a beginner's ballet class if you are interested um and even though i'm not technically a beginner like i have done ballet before it's still challenging so it's like welcoming to like anybody basically and yeah it, it was challenging like because i have not danced basically in like five years 
um, other than you know a few classes but i feel so refreshed and like happy after it so i'm definitely going to continue that the girls we all talked about how we are going to buy the class pack and just keep going so i'm excited and this hair situation i don't want to take this out like why do i i just love being in a bun like i don't know but yeah i just feel like i look like an egg but i also like it i don't know but once i take this out it's gonna be atrocious and i need to wash my hair so it becomes curly again because it's not it's not a good look um so the first thing i'm gonna do is eat something and then i'm going to clean the apartment and go, i'm going to go on a walk um and what else i don't know what else but we'll see um so yeah first i should probably eat first yeah let's make some food So after taking out my bun, this is the state of my hair. So time to wash this. And just got done brushing my hair. So clearly you see this is a process. Hey you guys, I'm back. My hair is dry now. I've been using these clips to like air dry my hair or just like partially diffuse my hair and then air dry. So I've been just like, after the shower, I clip it up kind of to give it more volume. So like in the back, I've been trying to like do that. And I feel like I have been getting more volume doing it that way. My hair tends to kind of like dry flat um, especially if I use a lot of product um, I find that recently like using less product actually gives me more volume so I always thought that with curly hair you needed to use a lot of product to like enhance the curls but I think that my curl type doesn't need that many doesn't need that much product because um, it's more like looser curls if you look at each individual one if that makes sense but yeah, I just cleaned the apartment while my hair was drying and I also diffused my hair a little bit to make it dry faster. I also did my makeup even though it's like later in the day, but I don't know. I just wanted to get ready, um, but I'm going to be just going on a long walk right now because it's really nice out and it's still light out because of daylight savings, which daylight savings is making me really tired. Like, I just feel tired all day today. So honestly, it's gonna be a very relaxed evening. I'm just gonna go on a walk and then watch the sunset and then come back and just eat dinner and relax, watch some TV with Jack. And yeah, have a relaxing evening, especially since it's Sunday and I just wanna have a productive Monday and not like start waking up late and feeling groggy and everything. So I've been trying to like really make my Sundays a relaxing time where I get things done, but I also am just taking a breather and not thinking about Sunday scaries and stuff. I've also been trying to walk to new places that I haven't been before. I do like to take the same path just because I know where to go and it's easier and I know I won't get lost, but I am trying to like challenge myself and go to just walk somewhere I don't know and then see if I can find my way back without using maps because Boston isn't that big, but I am still learning where everything is, um, all the different areas. So yeah, because I've only been living here since September after I got married. So I like officially moved in with Jack, but it's been, I don't know. I feel like I need to just learn more about where I am 
and Jack is so good at math so it's so funny when we're talking about like where we are because he always knows where we are when we go somewhere in Boston and I'm just like where are we like it just doesn't make sense in my head so I need to do that that's something I'm working on and I'll also share my lip combo because I've been wearing this like all the time this is just the Maybelline lifter gloss in the shade heat I think I've had the shade Petal before too. I, I like that one too. It's really similar. And then this is, oops. Um, this is just Wet n Wild Gel Lip Liner in Lay Down the Mauves. Um, yeah, I like this like mauve-y, mauve <laughs> Lately, I've been trying to wear makeup and like put on something on my lips. Whenever I head out the door, whether it's going to the store, the grocery store, running errands um, or just going on a walk because I just feel like better. I've just been trying to, you know, do a little something before I leave. So I feel more put together. And while I'm sitting down here, I'm going to obviously discuss like me not being on YouTube. And honestly, there's no excuse. <laughs> like I have just not been making videos and it's, I think it's because sometimes I think I don't have enough to share um, but I've realized that I don't think people care and like if they want to watch me they will so I'm just gonna be posting my life and things that I find interesting um, vlogging my life, sharing living in Boston in my 20s that sort of content so if you are interested stick around and if you're a previous subscriber or like if you subscribed to me a long time ago when I was like a teenager, I totally like understand if this is not the type of content you like anymore. Um, but if you like just watching me in general, like whatever I do, then you should totally stay. But yeah, obviously a lot has changed because I'm no longer like a teenager. The last time that I was um, like constantly posting was when I was a teenager. So being back on this channel, I would love to see your recommendations on what you would want to see from me. I definitely want to do vlogging type videos, um, trying things around Boston, and like lifestyle, wellness type of content. Um, I'm still very much into fashion, makeup, hauls, um, you know, sharing things that I like, that I've recently found, things like that. And I still have diabetes. So you got that content there too. And yeah, anything you guys wanna see. Living in the city life, apartment stuff, because I used to live outside of the city and now I live in the city. So it's also, that's that's what's changed as well. And I'm also married now, which is kind of, I still can't believe I'm saying that, but I am. Yeah, and I was talking to one of my friends about YouTube and I was just telling her sort of how I think about it a lot and how I always like want to make a video and I just don't and she's kind of the one that like made me realize like I should just do it um, because nothing is stopping me other than myself and yeah it's I just need to do it so I'm doing it and I have nothing to lose <laughs> other than maybe a subscriber because you realize that I haven't posted because I just posted okay there was a time in high school where when I was posting on YouTube and someone brought up my video on the screen in homeroom class and that like kind of traumatized me i didn't really like it when i knew people in my life knew i had a youtube channel and then they would like pull it up and play your video that's the worst so now i just feel like i don't have like an environment like that where that would happen because i'm out of college i graduated college so i don't have to like deal with everyone at my college knowing or you know, back in high school when people would know. So now it's just like, I'm just kind of on my own and I can, I can do it and there's no, there's, there's no one judging me. 